Hello everyone, my name is Sam, aka Complete Freedom. In this video series, I will be reviewing the commercial ACS for airplane single engine land and breaking down each area of operation task by task. The goal of this series is to provide short videos reviewing each task so that anyone who may be struggling with a particular task can quickly find that video and learn where to look for answers for the task. If you find this video helpful and would like to see more content like this, Leave a like on this video and consider subscribing. In today's short video, we'll be covering commercial airplane, pre-flight preparation, pilot qualifications, knowledge element K5, part 68, basic med, privileges and limitations. So what is basic med? Well, according to FAR 68, and this is taken directly from the FAA website, basic med is an alternate way for pilots to fly without holding an FAA medical certificate as long as they meet certain requirements. One, you must complete a physical exam every four years. You can simply print off an FAA Form 8700-2 Basic Med Comprehensive Medical Examination Checklist and get your physical exam with a state licensed physician. Notice how this is different as you do not need to see an Air Medical Examiner or AME. You can simply go to your state licensed physician or your primary care provider. Also, you must complete an online training course every two years. There are two free online courses to choose from. You can choose from the Mayo Clinic Basic Med Online Training Course or AOPA's Basic Med Medical Self-Assessment, A Pilot's Guide to Flying Healthy. I will leave a link to both of these free online courses in the description below. A pilot flying under the Basic Med rule must possess a valid driver's license, consent to a national driver register check, have held a medical certificate that was valid any time after July 15, 2006. You must not have had the most recent medical certificate revoked, suspended, or withdrawn. It must not have the most recent application completed and denied. And again, you must have taken the Basic Med online medical education course within the past 24 calendar months and have completed a comprehensive medical examination with any state licensed physician within the past 48 months. If required, you must have been found eligible for special issuance of a medical certificate for certain specified mental health, neurological, or cardiovascular conditions. And probably the most important rule since we're applying for a commercial certificate is we cannot fly for compensation or hire while operating under basic med. In order to fly for compensation or hire, you must hold at least a first or second class medical certificate. If you're finding this video helpful, click on the like button below so that it may spread to more people and we can all learn together. Thank you. For 61.113, subparagraph I states that a private pilot may act as pilot in command or serve as a required flight crew member of an aircraft without holding a medal certificate, provided the pilot holds a valid U.S. driver's license and complies with this section and all of the following conditions and limitations. The aircraft is authorized to carry not more than six occupants, has a maximum takeoff weight of not more than 6,000 pounds, and is operated with no more than five passengers on board. So that's the pilot and five passengers. Notice that it doesn't give any other limitations to the aircraft, so it doesn't matter how many engines the aircraft has, whether it's a piston-driven or a turbine-driven aircraft, whether it's a complex aircraft, meaning it has retractable gear or in a constant speed propeller, regardless of the horsepower of the engines, and whether the aircraft is pressurized or not. So for the flight, including each portion of the flight, is not carried out at an altitude that is more than 18,000 feet above mean sea level, so you can travel up to and including 18,000 feet, is conducted outside the United States or at an indicated airspeed exceeding 250 knots. The aircraft itself can travel faster than 250 knots, but you're not allowed to exceed 250 knots under basic med rule. Also, the pilot has available in his or her logbook the completed medical examination checklist completed within the previous four years and the certificate of course completion completed within the previous two years. In the next video, we'll be covering knowledge element R1, failure to distinguish proficiency versus currency. If you found this information useful, please like the video and leave a comment below. Also, subscribe to the channel and share this video with anyone who may find this content useful. Thank you.